yung mga letters of authority na ini-issue ng Bureau of Internal Revenue upang imbestigahan ang mga taxpayer. Ito yung kinakatakutan ng mga businessmen na tuwing makatanggap ng letter of authority, eh, iimbestigahan yung kanilang books. However, ang letter of authority, eh, meron lang siyang prescriptive period of 3 years. No? Effective lang siya for 3 years of your tax reports under Section 222 uh, of the uh, National Internal Revenue Code or yung ating tax code of 1997. Sabi dito, period of limitation upon assessment and collection except as provided in Section 222. Internal revenue taxes shall be assessed within three years after the last day prescribed by law for the filing of the return and no proceeding in court, no, etc. So sinasabi lang dito na kung ngayon ay 2024, hindi ka na pwedeng imbestigahan ng BIR for your transactions in 2020. Why? Because naglaps na yung three-year period. Uh, marami ng uh, Supreme Court decisions dito. Ang Court of Tax Appeals ay uh, sinusustain ng uh, Supreme Court na ini-enforce nila itong uh, prescriptive period na ito ng three years. Doon sa MT Grains Corporations versus CIR, ang sabi ng Court of Tax Appeals, Ang letter of authority ay nag expire no, within 120 days uh, from the time it is issued. And again, it reiterated na 3 years lang ang pwedeng imbestigahan ng isang letter of authority from the BIR. So, what do you do if you receive an LOA? na biyan yung 3-year period, pwede kang magreklamo doon sa uh, BIR or go to the Court of Tax Appeals. Kung nakareceive ka ng letter of authority na biyan yung 120 days kasi yun lang yung uh, uh, effectivity ng letter of authority, then again, you can go to court or the BIR to complain.